Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today is the day we finally put the Yoder's YS640 pellet cooker onto the comp cart. Enjoy. Brian Adams 3. Got them all around. Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today is the day we finally put the Yoder's YS640 pellet cooker onto the comp cart. Enjoy. Alright, so here we go. So first step here in putting on the comp cart, we have to move the fuse. So the fuse sits on the front. So we're going inch and a half. A two. So X marks the spot. We're going to put it right there. And I did download the instructions. So I got those. So first step it says take a quarter inch drill bit. Try to go right through it here. Yeah, I'm going there, right Some tough stuff. Right. <laughs> Made it through with my Fisher Price drill here. All right, just gonna switch it over to the half inch bit. Graceful, as always. There we go. So we take the fuse, drop her in, and we're just going to tighten her up in the back here. There we go. Step one. Fuse relocated. All right. Let's see how it works. So my plan is here to plug these in, and then uh, I'm actually going to fire it up. Just make sure it works. All right, let's see if we have success before we screw everything in here. We have power. Dropping pellets. All right, let's say we have success. It's pretty rare when I can take something apart and put it back together again, and it works. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, step one here, you remove the eight bolts, top bolts, from the top there, 
and those go all the way around. And I've already done it because of the uh, the painting project. So now all we gotta do is lift her on the comp cart. All right, so we got it on. I'm just gonna tighten up the bolts there. So did have a small casualty there. So touch base with the other, see if there's any touch up for the cunt current. But, but we had a lot of trouble getting it lined up with the holes. As you see here, there's a little gap. I wasn't really expecting a gap there. This one, this side, no gap. So just know that before you try to put it on. All right, so we're sitting here under on the underside of the unit. So there's eight of these guys, accessible from the outside, accessible from the outside, there's four. And on these guys over here, these two, I'll try to get a better angle here, but the two on the outside, and they're the inside, underside, are not accessible. So you gotta come in while I was down here, plugged in the power cord. Let me see if I can swing this around. That was not fun for an overweight due to the hernia with no mechanical skills. Oh. Rare scene footage of the bottom side of the grease catcher. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do a quick little recap here. So, number one, do not use a Fisher Price drill when you're trying to drill your spot for your new fuse. Make it a lot easier. Uh, also, when you're setting it on there, try not to ding it up uh, like we did. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm, I'm going to ding this thing up at some point. 
Hey, might as well be the first night, give it a little character. Number three, when you're setting it on, and part of this happened there, there's a gap on the left hand side, about so big, and there's no gap on the right. So just kind of know that going into it. Um, hey, we did the best we could. I th we're very happy that we had the lid off when we're trying to put it on because this thing is one heavy SOB. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like. I will put a subscribe icon for you. Right about there. Another other video. Right about there. Hey, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.